Hey guys, it's Becky Bamboo. Today is um, Wednesday, April 27th, 2010. And I wanted to do an update, and I actually I'm going to do two videos because I got tagged in Tag Game. I got a nice email from Manda, whose uh, YouTube channel is A-F-A-R-R-I-C-K. I'll put it in the down bar. Um, and admittedly, I've never watched her videos before, but I was so entertained with this tag video that um, you got a, a viewer for life now, <laughs> whether you want it or not. Um, your daughter is hilarious. Um, she reminds me very much of my six-year-old niece, and I was seriously cracking up, like made me cry laughing um, when she said you were going to wear some tank tops and wicked short shorts <laughs> after surgery. I thought that was the cutest thing ever. So um, anyway, I, I enjoyed that. Um, it is raining here again today. I cannot believe it's raining again. It sucks so bad. Um, it's going to rain again tomorrow, and we get one day where it's not going to rain and going to be nice. Friday's going to be nice, which is great because it's my interview day, which, you know, so that will make that day so much even brighter if I end up getting a, uh, a job that day. And then um, it's going to rain all weekend. So uh, I don't know. I don't get what the deal is with all this rain. It's insane to me. But I guess we have no choice but to deal with it, right? So I went to the grocery store in this stuff because our grocery store does this thing called um, yellow dot savings times and they'll have different um, items on sale when they'll put a yellow sticker on them usually it's meats um, and since protein is such a huge thing for me when I can get meat on sale cheap um, I go all out for it so I wanted to tell you guys what all I got because I'm really excited I think I did really well um, I got a five pound package of chicken thighs. It was like 12 chicken thighs in this thing. Three pound bag of uh, chicken breasts, frozen chicken breasts. A 1.11 pound um, whole pork tenderloin, you know, the long little loin. A two, two and a half pound package of split chicken breasts. They're the big chicken breasts and the, the whole, the fresh ones, not the frozen ones. Um, two five ounce tilapia fillets two three ounce lobster tails and a one and a half pound package of ground round for 35 bucks all that stuff for 35 bucks hey so needless to say my freezer is going to be nicely stocked for a while um i like to keep especially chicken my husband and i eat a lot of chicken i like to keep chicken breasts chicken thighs in the freezer and i um, when I bring them home from the store, I take each breast or each piece out of the package and I wrap them up individually and keep them in the freezer because, you know, I'm not going to make 12 chicken breasts or chicken thighs at a time. Um, but for me and my husband, I can make like three or four pieces um, depending on if he, if he wants to have leftovers, I'll make four. If he doesn't care, then I usually just make three. So, I mean, 12 pieces of thighs is going to last us a long time. And... Um, so anyway, I like to just have stuff like that and individually wrapped stuff so I can just pull out what I need and, and thaw it and then cook it. So um, it works really well for me. And I'm excited about that. I mean, that's I think that's pretty good um, savings. Almost everything that I bought, like the original price of the meat, was um, like almost double what I paid for it. Um, they called this yellow dot thing, it was a $5 thing. So each package that you got you paid five dollars for as long as you bought at least three of them but then you can buy as many as you want and it's still five dollars for each one of them so um, you know like the huge packet of chicken thighs was like eleven dollars and I paid five bucks for it um, the lobster tails were nine dollars a piece and I paid five bucks for them so um, really good value on meats so um, I stocked up and I'm excited about it because now I've got lots of options to cook and, you know, with me not working, um, money is always uh, is an issue. It's tight. So to be able to kind of stock up and know that we've got food that we can have for a long time to come. And, you know, side dishes are cheap and you can get away, you know, with uh, I can get away with a little bit of nothing in sides because um, I don't eat very much, which is a huge, huge benefit. People, a lot of what I hear from people about weight loss surgery is like, why do you want to have, you know, like, why do you want to have to deal with all the vitamins and stuff? It's so expensive to have to have the vitamins for your, the rest of your life. 
yeah, it's expensive, but you know what? My grocery bill is like half of what it used to be. So in the end, it's really not expensive. It's it's basically living the, my same lifestyle. It's just the money goes to different places. So I just find it very intriguing how um, people don't think about the food issue, how um, you're not going to eat as much as you did, so you're not going to need as many groceries. And it takes a while to learn how to cook um, for the new pouch, the new you. Um, my meals at first, I was making like these ginormous meals like I used to make and we'd have them for like four days. And so I'd make like one or two meals a week and we got so sick of eating the same stuff. So now I've toned it back. I've started to just prepare what I know we're going to eat so that we don't have leftovers or very little leftovers. I like to have variety. I don't want to eat the same meal five times a week, you know. Um, so I like to buy pieces of fish that I'll buy one for me, one for my husband, whatever size I think I'll eat and buy him whatever size I think he'll eat. Um, and then we'll have some veggies with it or we'll have, he loves rice, so we have rice with it or, you know, whatever, whatever it is that we have. But I'll make it in a much smaller quantity. I mean, like before, we would grill like six chicken breasts for the two of us and we wouldn't very rarely have anything left over because we both were big eaters. Now I can make four and know that I'm gonna have leftovers from it. I can make three and probably still have leftovers from it. So um, it's a big, it's a just a big change. And I think that a lot of people don't think about um, how much like less expensive you can get away with buying stuff. I mean, I, my grocery bill initially was still just as high, but then once I started kind of changing the way that I cooked and the way that I prepared meals, um, it really, like started to go down and um, I'm one that like I'm, I might plan out what I'm gonna cook before I go to the grocery store but if I get there and everything that I want to make is not on sale I'll just switch it up and just on the spot come up with something different to make with the items that are on sale at the store um, I don't shop at a super discounted grocery store because I don't like the meats and I don't like the produce there and I'm a huge a huge um, you know, protein is like the big thing. So I want to buy good meats. Um, and I, I still eat a lot of fruit. So I want good fruit because for me, my five bites of a meal, I want them to count for a lot. You know, I want them to taste really good. I want it to be a good quality. And so, the, so I don't shop super discounted. And, um, so I find that that's what I do. I just, I have to be open to what's on sale from week to week. I, you know, I peruse the ads and try to plan according to what I know is going to be on sale. But, um, you know, sometimes you don't, you just, you got to change it up. So anyway, uh, I'm really excited about my meat purchase. That's a lot of meat for $35. And um, so I came home and immediately got it all broke down and packaged individually and put in the freezer and it's ready to go. So um, that's that's going to be so handy to have. Um, let's see. What else is going on? Um, long bike ride yesterday. I rode 13, closer to 14 miles, um, 13 and three quarters maybe, um, miles with my husband. And um, that was kind of in lieu of a gym workout. Um, that's a good workout. Cycling, um, I'm, I'm finding that my legs are getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And I really think that the mix of running and cycling is where my inches are dropping. I lost four and a half inches out of my hips last month alone. And I wasn't cycling much before last month. So I think the cycling mixed with the running is really like fueling that, you know, um, which is exciting because that was like my big problem area is my hips and my butt and my belly and all that so to see the waistline inches dropping and the hip line inches dropping it's awesome and my thighs shrunk more and um, I, I think that that cycling is is really a good cross train for running so um, anybody who's runners out there looking for a cross train uh, consider biking because I'm noticing a huge difference in the strength of my legs especially my thighs um, they feel so much stronger uh, with the addition of the of the biking. So um, anyway, we did do that, and um, that was my workout yesterday. I'm sweating like crazy um, now, which is fun. Um, every time I get home, I realize how wet my clothes are, and I'm like, wow, 
I didn't used to have to deal with this. So I'm having to do laundry more often, which kind of sucks because I hate doing laundry, but um, <clears throat> it's still kind of, um, it's still so neat to me to, um, to be sweating, dripping, you know, whatever, <laughs> raining, however you want to say it. Um, tonight I'll probably go run. My husband wants to go to the gym, so I'm kind of holding off doing anything um, until this evening. It's crappy. I wanted to run outside today, but it's crappy and rainy, so it's not going to happen. Um, definitely going to plan on running on Friday, though. Um, I'm going to run tonight and then probably cycle Thursday if I can get a break in the weather. If not, then I'll probably swim Thursday and uh, run Friday. So um, I'm, I'm finding that my weeks are getting more and more intense in my workouts because I, um, I just have nothing better to do. So I find that I can't make an excuse why like I can't go work out, which is good for me. And I think that's why I'm having such good numbers on the scale lately is because I'm working out almost every day of the week, which is um, new. I, I don't, you know, in the past I was about five days a week and now I'm six and seven days a week. So it's uh, it's all new to me So on that regard. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, redid before and after, before and current pictures yesterday. Put them up on Facebook for those of you who want to see them. You can go check them out. Those of you who are not on Facebook, you can look me up, gqlfin at hotmail.com. We'll get you there. Um, what else? Yeah, my uh, speaking of my before and current picture that I redid yesterday, I redid it because I was comfortably wearing the size 16 jeans that Jennifer sent me. And um, I don't know why. Do I keep, I keep calling you Jennifer, but I feel like I should call you Jen because that just seems right. So anyway, um, my aunt, who I went to see in Louisiana, actually printed off that photograph, my new, my newest uh, before current photograph, to take and show one of her friends because she was so impressed with the way that I look right now. And she just saw me, and uh, she's like, you know, the it's just amazing. And this, I guess, she's kind of got a friend that she's been talking to me about. So she's take she took my picture to show her, which I think is really kind of fun and neat that. Um, She's that proud of me that she's showing me off, but um, I'm I'm shocked looking at the the pictures. It, it's uh, uh, it's getting harder and harder to look at the old picture, and and it's funny right now I have my my pre-op photos sitting here full size um, on my computer because I'm taking them with me to this uh, speech I'm giving Saturday, so I have them just huge and printed out on you know in paper or whatever and um, as I sit here and I do videos I've just been looking at them and I just I um it gets I'm realizing it's harder to look at them and harder to recognize myself and harder to to remember what it was like to be that heavy and I said at the beginning I was never going to forget what it was like but you know what you kind of start to you start to forget how it felt to walk in in that body and how it felt to move in that body and breathe in that body um you just it, it just you can't keep up with it and uh i i sat here today and i watched my very first youtube video and uh it cracks me up because uh you could tell the nervousness in me i think that's probably true of most people's first videos but you could see the nervousness and i just don't even recognize that woman that was in that video and um, it's like I buried her, you know, it's like June 28th, I buried that woman and, uh, I had a rebirth and, uh, my new birthday is coming up. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's funny that you, that that's, I think it's funny that I feel that way. I really feel like I have a new birthday and I, and, um, I have so many people in my family all the time telling me, um, you're just not the same person you were, you know, like the, the attitude -y, negative person is gone and all that remains is this very pleasant and beautiful woman and it's nice to hear that stuff and um but also it's hard too because I do realize that I was somebody different and um and I think that certain people would have a hard time um appreciating that I needed to to change entirely and that 
Uh, maybe they miss the old me. I can't believe anybody would miss the old me. I don't miss the old me. Um, I have so much more life and everything, love and energy and the positivity that I don't, I really don't miss the old me at all, but it is hard to look at these photos and um, it is amazing at the same time to look at the physical transformation I've undergone and realize that I'm not done yet. I, I, I am so excited to at the idea of seeing my final before and after picture, the, the end of the road uh, picture, you know, that goal weight picture is going to be um, just crazy. It's going to be crazy to me to see it. And I'm, I'm just really excited about, um, about the changes that I've gone through. So um, anyway, I'm going to do a video um, in, in response to this tag one, but I wanted to, I wanted to share about my, my shopping excursion for my meat because I was so excited about spending $35 for um, a ass load of food. So, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. I, I texted my husband and I said, I wrote out all the pounds of whatever I got. And I said, I got all this for $35. And he's like, Oh my God, you did really good. So, uh, he'll be excited when he comes home and has a good meal to eat tonight. Um, I guess that's it. I don't know if I ever brought it back up, but these earbuds, um, I've had a chance to use them a bunch now. They rock my world. They are so good. Worth the $50. They're $50 at Best Buy. They're Iron Man, your buds. Seriously worth the money. Um, they do not slip. They do not slide. I don't have to keep pushing them in as I'm running. You put them in, you leave them alone. I even got my finger hooked on the uh, cord while I was running one day because it seems like sometimes I run like this for whatever reason. Like my finger, my pinkies like to stick out. And uh, I don't, I try not to do that, but then before long I realize like I'm running like this and whatever. But I hooked my pinky on it and it yanked the cord from my ear. And I expected the thing to just fly out. It didn't even move. I didn't even have to like fix it. It just was like solid in my ear. So uh, if anybody's looking for some great workout earbuds, these are it. Um, Iron Man Your Buds. Let's see. Your Buds is the brand. Iron Man Series is what it's called. It's got these people on it with shit written on their face. So <laughs> it should be easy to spot, you know. Um, but yeah. I, I definitely like them, and I keep forgetting to mention that, I think, in videos. Maybe I did, and I just don't remember, but who knows with me. Okay, so I guess that's it. Uh, I hope you guys have a really wonderful rest of the week. Um, you know that I'll probably be checking in again tomorrow, and of course I will be checking in Friday because, well, it's Friday, and I love to do the Friday dance, and because I will hopefully have some excellent news to share with you guys Friday afternoon. I am... I'm so excited about this opportunity, about um, doing this job. I'm more excited about this than I can remember being excited about almost anything in my life. Like, I, I feel like this is where I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to be in a part-time position um, because it's going to allow me to make enough money and work as much as I want, um, but it's also going to allow me to have free time to work on me and focus on my weight loss because, you know, at the end of the day, me is still a huge issue and it's still a big focus for me. And it's been nice to have this time off, but, um, you know, obviously I need to be working because uh, money is an issue, but it will be nice to have a couple days, three days a week, four days a week or whatever it ends up being where I can, um, know I can get to the gym, know that I can really focus on what I need to be doing. And uh, not get overstressed. I think that's the thing. I'm excited about the part-time work because I'm not going to get overstressed. I can still get my benefits. I can still make as enough money to support us. I can still um, work as much as I want. If I have weeks where I'm needing more money, I can just pick up hours and work as I want. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of benefits to the part-time work. And... Um, so I'm really excited about it. I really, really hope I don't end up being disappointed on Friday and hope that they that they hire me and not somebody else. I, I hope that I can make a really good impression when I'm in there. And surely my smiling face will do something, right? 
I'm just gonna go in and go. No, <laughs> I'm just playing. Okay, that's it for me. Bye, guys.